power sets. If A is a set, then the power set of A is the set of all subsets of A. We use a script P symbol for power set. So we have the power set of A in set builder notation is the set of all B such that B is a subset of A. Let's look at an example. Let capital A be the set consisting of little a and little b. Capital A has two elements and four subsets. The subsets of A are the empty set, the set consisting of little a, the set consisting of little b, and the set itself consisting of both little a and little b. Once again, the cardinality of A is two, and the cardinality of the power set of A is four. The power set of A is the set consisting of the empty set, the set containing little a, the set containing little b, and the set itself consisting of little a and little b. Let's draw a tree diagram for the subsets of capital A. It looks like this. At the top of the tree diagram, we have the only subset of cardinality two, the set consisting of A and B. Underneath that, we have the subsets of cardinality one, set A and set B. And at the bottom, we have the only subset of cardinality zero, the empty set. The lines drawn between various sets are there to illustrate the subset relation. So the two lines at the bottom show that the empty set is a subset of set A, and of set B, and the two lines at the top show that set A and set B are both subsets of the whole set, set AB. There are also a couple of hidden relationships inside here using uh, the lines and tracing a path. So the empty set is also a subset of set AB by tracing the line from empty to set A and then from set A to set AB, or by tracing the line from empty to set B and from set B to set AB. Let's look at another example. Let capital B be the set consisting of little a, little b, and little c. B has three elements and eight subsets. The subsets of capital B are the empty set, set little a, set little b, set little c, the set consisting of A and B, the set consisting of A and C, and the set consisting of B and C. Finally, the set itself consisting of A, B, and C. Once again, the cardinality of B is three, and the cardinality of the power set of B is eight. The power set of B is the set consisting of the empty set, set A, set B, set C, set AB, set AC, set BC, and set ABC. Let's look at a tree diagram for the subsets of capital B. We have the only subset of cardinality three at the top, set ABC. Then we have three subsets of cardinality two, three subsets of cardinality one, and then the only subset of cardinality zero, the empty set. And you could see all the line segments showing the relationships between various sets, which ones are subsets of others. And once again, you could trace various paths to get additional subsets using what's called the transitivity of the subset relation. Let's try an exercise. How many subsets does the set consisting of A, B, C, and D have? Draw a tree diagram for the subsets of set A, B, C, D. Now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise yourself, take your time drawing that tree diagram in particular, then resume the video and check your answer against mine. So how many subsets does the set consisting of A, B, C, and D have? It has 16. Let's look at the tree diagram. Okay, that tree diagram is pretty involved. You may want to pause the video one more time and compare this tree diagram to yours and make sure that you have all 16 of the sets written in correct rows and 
that you have all the appropriate line segments illustrating the various subset relationships. Example, how many subsets does a set of cardinality n have? To answer this question, let's make a table with columns cardinality of a. So we'll have various cardinalities of sets. And for each of those, we'll list the elements in a typical set a with that cardinality, followed by the elements of the power set of a. And from that, we'll be able to see what the cardinality of the power set of A is. Let's do this for sets of cardinality 0, 1, 2, and 3, just to give us an idea and see if we could develop a pattern. If the cardinality of the set is 0, then there are no elements to list, and there's one subset, the empty set. The cardinality of the power set of A is then 1. If the cardinality of A is one, a typical set might consist of a single element like A, and then the power set of A consists of the two elements, the empty set and the set containing A. So we see that the cardinality of the power set of A is two. If the cardinality of A is two, say the elements are A and B, then the power set of A consists of the empty set, set A, set B, and the set consisting of A and B and we see that the cardinality of the power set of A is four. If the cardinality of A is three, say the elements are A, B, and C, then the power set of A has the empty set, set A, set B, set A, B, set C, set A, C, set B, C, and set A, B, C. We see that the cardinality of the power set of A is eight. Notice that 1 could be written as 2 to the 0, 2 could be written as 2 to the 1, 4 as 2 to the 2, and 8 as 2 to the 3. Do you see the pattern yet? If the cardinality of the set A is n, then the cardinality of the power set of A is 2 to the n. Let's try one more exercise. Let x be a set such that the cardinality of power set of x is 128. What is the cardinality of x? Go ahead and pause this video, think about this question, and come up with your own answer, and then resume the video to check your answer against mine. Well, 128 could be written as 2 to the 7th, so the cardinality of x is 7.